Welcome back to the Bishop Strickland Hour. Bishop Strickland, I was reading an article about St. John Paul II. I call him the Great. Uh, he made a comment about unborn babies, and it sounded like you. I know that he is part of, I think you were ordained in the mid-'80s, so, you know, John Paul II, I imagine, was your hero. He, at least he was mine at, as a young and influential age. But he said this. He's talking about the unborn and how we have to stop abortion worldwide, and we have to make a stand on this. And he was criticized, saying, Holy Father, why are you continually beating up on this topic of abortion? I mean, there are other topics. And his response reminded me of you. Mm -hmm. He said, when the babies aren't being killed and millions of babies aren't dying, I'll stop talking about it. Now, didn't that sound like a comment you made maybe two or three weeks ago? Well, I, I, I don't hope know if you so. Yeah, I, you said it. You said exactly the same thing. Yeah. And well, it's true. It is yeah. true. And and again, have you not been told by other people you're you're always talking about too much about the unborn? I have. Until we really correct it. Yeah. You know, like we've talked about before, all the terrible violence, I mean, shootings, stabbings, yeah. we hear all about it all the time. Yeah. That's because life isn't held sacred. It. And it's not going to be until we start at the beginning and build up from there. And I think and absolutely we need to yeah. people really, Terry, Tell me. people don't realize what a treasure every person is. Exactly. I was just out for a walk this afternoon and thinking about just walking through a neighborhood here in Tyler <laughs> and realizing that the people in all these houses are are part of my flock. Yep. I mean, they're people that I have some responsibility for. I mean, a lot of them are not Catholic, and a lot of them have no idea who I am, but I've got to keep t teaching the truth and recognizing that every one of those families, every person in those homes, beautiful, gorgeous home, small, you know, home that's maybe not in great shape, whoever, if a human being lives there, that's right. That is a treasure. Yep. We've got to recapture that appreciation of every person, and you know the the, the terrible wars that have happened through history, the 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 massacre of unborn children, all of these things undermine the value of the human person. Absolutely. And you know, so we've got. A lot of work to do, but we we've got to keep speaking about it until the world changes. And as long as we have breath, absolutely. You know, Bishop Strickland, I was talking to someone who's pro-abortion, and I said to them, "Are you okay with me killing little babies that are in you know a little uh, hospitals that are just newborn babies?" And the reason I brought this up, I just got just over the weekend we had our second little baby girl for our granddaughter born. And I saw that, you know, she's so tiny. And I thought about it. What would you say for me to just start killing and stabbing all these little infants in the hospital that were just born? Wouldn't you say that's horrible? Would you or would you not? And of course, well, yeah, they're, I mean, how, how can you kill a little baby? And I said, well, don't go on my morality, go on science. What do you think's inside mama? We know because when it comes out, it's not a banana. It's not an apple. It's a baby. And so my question to you is, if you're okay with me killing these babies outside the womb, of course you said you're not, then why are you not, why are you comfortable killing them inside the mother's womb? And I, I got to admit, the lady looked at me like, uh, you didn't have an answer. You know, like, what? Well, the, the, there, there is no answer. <sighs> if you really are honest with yourself, there is no I mean, it's the same baby. <laughs> yeah, it's the same baby. That's and the point. so we're going to keep talking about it Absolutely. until people wake up. Yeah, and it's our responsibility. Yeah, yeah, and you know, Bishop Strickland, you have you live in the great state of Texas. Uh, there's thousands of babies that are alive because of your legislation. Texas uh, administrators have voted uh, the heartbeat law, and that saved thousands of babies' lives. Here in California, again, I'm in the, the I'm, I, I feel like I'm in Sodom and Gomorrah because our governor says just the opposite. You're in Texas, come to California, we'll kill your baby. 
I mean, is this microphone on? Did I say that? Yes, it, because it's true. That's how bad it's gotten. So, yeah, if we stay silent on this, I think, I'm going to be honest with you, I think I have a sin of omission if I don't speak up for the little ones. Well, I totally agree. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, we you do it with charity. love. You don't attack anyone. No, no. Because the people we're trying to get to listen are are precious as well. That's right. But, That's right. You know, yeah. you've got to keep... You know, for their good yeah. and for the good of society and certainly for the babies. Yeah. Bishop Strickland, you talked a little bit about the German bishops, and it's sad what's going on there. And uh, you had tweeted that you said at least one bishop uh, admits that they are seeking some sort of alternative of Catholicism. Because he said, you know, we just want to have our own version of Catholicism, like no, there's only one version of it. But he said, we want our own version. He said, but you said, there's no such thing. If they don't want the truth the church teaches, they're free to reject it because they have free will. It is so many have, have, but you can't reject what Catholic embrace Catholic, Catholic all at the same time. In other words, you can't be Catholic and say, we want a different version. And can you just explain that? Because I don't think just the bishops in... Uh, Germany want that. There are people in this country who think, and this is what they think, they can be Catholic and pro-abortion. And those two don't mix. Your thoughts? Absolutely. There are many things that people are pushing for. And, I mean, Catholics in Congress voting for this, oh, you know, marriage uh, so-called, I mean, it's so not badly named Marriage Protection Act. It's yeah. the Marriage Destruction Act. Right. Is what it is. Right. And and it's even worse than I mean, destroying marriage is about as bad as it gets, but it it really people um I don't think are aware and even the legislators, I don't think they're really aware of what what the agenda is behind it. Yeah. And it's trying to it really shut down exactly what we're doing right now. Exactly. Quit talking about the truth. Quit yeah. talking about Catholicism. And really, it's very dangerous. And you know, the we've got to we've got to speak up and continue to speak up, even with and they tell us it's illegal. It's never, you know, we don't have to follow a law that is contrary to the common good and contrary to just common sense. Absolutely. Um, I mean, you know, like sadly, a lot of laws in California, oh. um, but we've got to continue to, to speak up and to, to resist the, you know, the German bishops are ignoring, I mean, they just had their eye limina. Yeah. And I read, I mean, that's part of what that, it was one of the bishops speaking after they had had their, the eye limina that, uh, Free, the periodic visit with the Pope. We had our, as the American bishops, we had our ad limina back in January of 2020, just before COVID started. Um, but the German bishops were just there for their ad limina and basically told Pope Francis and even the, the other members of the, the Curia, I know that there were several cardinals speaking to him saying, Come back to the Catholic faith, yeah. but they're saying, no, nope, we're going to continue on this path. And, uh, you know, really, this synod is unfolding and people are really using it to to do exactly that, to say, oh, well, we want a different version of Catholicism. <laughs> Basically, that happened 500 years ago. Exactly. And it ceased to be Catholicism and it became Protestantism and you know, it's frustrating to me that these bishops, they need to embrace some Protestant faith or create their own. I mean, there, there are many different Protestant denominations that have developed in the past 500 years. I don't know how many there are, but there are many, many Protestant groups, that, and there's a lot of non-denominational. But Catholic is clearly defined. Read the Catechism. And if you're contrary to the catechism, certainly, like I said in that tweet, people are free to be. God doesn't force us, and we don't force anyone. If you want to leave the church, it, it's heartbreaking, but 
that's your free choice. Exactly. But rather than trying to say, oh, well, we want a different form of Catholicism, you want a different form of the truth? It doesn't, it just doesn't make sense. 